Hello everybody! Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. My name is Sho and today I have a rehab update and review on the Vintage Coach Penny Pocket Bag. Now this little purse is a fairly recent addition to my Vintage Coach collection. Um, she is yet another mini bag that I picked up uh, in order to try and really force myself to figure out how to edit the items that I am perpetually carrying with me. Uh, and let me tell you, this was a real challenge to get used to. Uh, I love her. You can see she's not a huge bag, but she does fit uh, a pretty generous amount for her size. Uh, that said, Figuring out a configuration for how to fit things inside of her pretty short body size has been one heck of a challenge, let me tell you. Um, in general, I'm very, very pleased with it, but uh, before we get into the actual meat of the review, let me just sort of show you how she's looking. Um, I will link to the unboxing video where you sort of saw where you were able to see um, her original state. Uh, she was quite dry, but in decent condition. She didn't have any piping issues. Um, I'm just not brave enough to challenge those a lot of times. I mean, I have, but I, I just much prefer a bag that doesn't have too much uh, to do with piping problems. Um, she was pretty heavily stained and she still has some staining residue, but I actually don't mind it, especially on the British tan. You can always see stains on British tan, but the thing that's great about it is that it really does seem to give a bag a little bit of extra character. And that's not just me not being able to get the stains out of these bags, but, um, also me just really in general, appreciating the fact that all of these bags had a life long before they were with me um, and seeing some remnants of that someone at some point put a water stain on her um, she has these little tiny flecks I don't know where they came from but they don't bother me the back has like a couple of weirdly pitted spots that make me wonder if like a cat walked across it a couple of times because it's teeny, 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 tiny holes. Um, things that I've recognized in my own materials from a cat walking across them. Um, so it, it's just, it's always, I always find this very interesting, especially again with the British tan, which does show those little teeny uh, imperfections so clearly. Um, so yeah, she cleaned up really, really well. It was a very easy rehab. I just dunked her did some conditioning. I, all I had to use was leather CPR on this one. And then I finished her off with some black rocks, especially along the edges. Uh, and she, you can see is looking very healthy indeed, which is all that I really wanted from her. Okay. So to get on with the meat of the review. Now she is what I would personally consider a mini bag. Um, hold on one moment. Let me grab my measuring tape, which I had stored just a little too far. She is by about nine and a quarter inches across and about five and a half to six inches high. And she is about one and a half inches deep. So she's not the smallest bag I have by any means. I absolutely have a couple of purses that are much, much, much smaller. Say like, um, I think seven inches across and that two inches makes a massive amount of difference. A massive amount. Um, but she is pretty short. Again, I'll put the dimensions along the bottom so that you'll have them. You can write them down if you need them uh, for reference. Um, but yeah, so small, fairly narrow bag just at that. That's also been another bit of a challenge. Uh, but she does have a back slip pocket, which I 100% can fit my phone. My phone, uh, obviously is not in the case. I'm filming on it. 
uh, but this is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which is a pretty sizable phone. It fits very easily in that back slip pocket, but let me show you. You can also, if you have to, fit an iPad mini in that back pocket. It will absolutely extend out of it, but it does fit and it's really secure and it doesn't cause too much bulging out, which had been a big concern of mine. So um, there have been a couple of times in the last few weeks where I have hand uh, carried my phone or just slipped it in my pocket and then used the back slip pocket for my iPad mini. But we'll go back to just the regular of carrying it. It does have the turn lock on the front that closes it and it has two compart- well it has a slip pocket in the front, a main compartment, and then one last little zippered or no not zippered another slip pocket in the back. So you have a lot of little uh, places where you can put very, very thin items. Again, very, very thin items. Don't try and put too much of any uh, real size in those slip pockets because that will cause a lot of other shifting issues. Uh, trust me, I've tried. Uh, but you can see she is pretty stuffed and still has a little tiny bit of room left where you could put more in her. And just so you can see what's inside in this front pocket, I have my card case. I have a compact mirror. And that's everything that I have managed to fit in that front. I also have in the main compartment, my car keys, which are just in this little shell pouch, um, just to make sure that the house key doesn't scratch anything. Um, I got this idea from, I think, Hello City Catwalk, who, you know, always has great ideas. If you're not following her channel, you absolutely should. Um, but I have 10 million of these little pouches from lipsticks, and I, I keep them all because, I mean, I figured at some point I would figure out what to do with them. Uh, but this I just thought was an excellent idea to just throw my keys in there. Um, my six, neither my six nor my five ring key holder uh, fit in this uh, comfortably. So I was out of luck in that regard. That's why the pouch came in very, very handy because it's, since it's so smooshy, it just fits anywhere in here. I fit this, which is the best. Um, this is a full two ounce Mrs. Myers clean day hand sanitizing spray. And I can actually fit a large item in here. That makes me so happy. I haven't been able to fit this in anything in ages. Um, I also have a, a small scent box sized perfume. This is just Gucci Bloom. I have my pill macaron. And that just holds like Tylenol for me. And then I also have a um, corner zip uh, coach pouch. It has a uh, lip balm. It has a lipstick in it. Um, my mask. A hand cream. A Tide pen. And a tampon in there. And then a couple of um, hair ties as well. But the main thing is all of my necessities do fit pretty comfortably in there. Without too much effort. And then in the very back pocket, uh, I have a lot of just very thin items. Like I have a Kleenex wet wipe. I have a couple of alcohol prep pads. Um, an alcohol wipe. A couple of band-aids. And then my beloved koala cloth. Um, again, I say this every time I talk about this, but if you wear eyeglasses, I 100% recommend Koala Claws. You can get them on Amazon. They're fantastic. I don't get any kind of affiliate pay, uh, payments or anything. I just happen to love these. Uh, but yeah, so all of that, this large little, this large, get small pile 
fits inside the penny pocket purse. So you can put a good amount of stuff in here. I wish that I had space for, say, um, a travel size Kleenex. Um, I wish that I had space for, you know, my little snack. Um, I suppose I could put one in like a little zippy, like nuts and stuff, but um, I really like the dang bars uh, for if my blood sugar goes really low. Uh, but alas, there is not room for those things. Um, a portable brush would be great. Uh, so, so I've definitely had to edit things down. Um, this is really close to the bare minimum for me. Um, I'm sure that I could go a little bit lower, even, even more so, but I don't want to. <laughs> I really just don't. Um, I have a couple smaller mini bags that I will be doing reviews for in the future, and we will see after carrying those for a couple weeks, how I feel if I feel like, oh yeah, this, I should have done this ages ago, or if I'll be even more so, I can't do this <laughs> with the small amount of stuff that I'm allowed to carry with me, but we won't know until we try. Um, so yes, that is everything that fits inside of the Penny Pocket Vintage Coach Purse. Uh, All right, so... Just so I can give you a small frame of reference with regard to size of the bag and how you can carry it, I have a couple of mod shots for you. Um, my height is about five foot three. Now I do carry it crossbody quite often, and um, it's really comfortable to hold with your hand resting on the strap and your arm resting a little bit on the bag itself, like. It falls just at the perfect hip height for me, like hip waist height for me. But it's also quite a comfortable shoulder carry if you prefer to carry bags that way. Um, it's a narrow strap, which I usually can't carry on my shoulder because they just slip right off. I have weird sloping shoulders. I don't know. But for whatever reason, this one sticks pretty well. I mean, I can jostle around a little bit and it still stays where I want it to. Um, that said, me personally, I do oftentimes just carry it crossbody just because one, the way it falls is perfect. And I just always feel like a bag is more secure. I like being totally hands-free. Not that I'm not hands-free now, but in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, what if the bag falls? So I sort of keep my hand near the strap just in case. Anyway, um, you can carry it both ways quite comfortably on a five foot three frame. Uh, either way works really, really well. It's a light bag and it's small, but not too small at the same time, if that makes sense. I think it looks pretty decent, uh, no matter what you wear, whether you're wearing black, whether you're wearing uh, browns, uh, pinks, it goes really well with all kinds of neutrals, but it also works really, really well with um, vivid colors too, so don't be afraid to wear um, brighter shades. I just happen to be someone who wears neutrals pretty much 24 hours a day, uh, such as it is. So these are your mod shots for the Penny Pocket. Overall, I think that this is a great size for someone who is, like me, trying to edit their day-to-day -day essentials, but who are still, people who are still a little wary of going too micro-sized, like the, the micro bags that are even smaller than this, I look at them and I just think, how? Like, you've got room for a lipstick and your keys and that's it. I mean, they don't even look like they'll hold a card holder. Like, my little quilted card holder is too fat for some of those bags. Um, see? Look. It's definitely too, too thick for some of those. Um, so, so we'll see. Um, in general, very, very happy with this guy. He carries very well. Um, this strap is narrow, but it doesn't dig into your shoulder. It's quite comfortable to carry. Uh, and it looks very good. It doesn't look too small on my frame. I'm five foot three, uh, but it, it still works quite, quite well. So I'm very happy with this one. If you're looking for this kind of a bag, make sure you check it out. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to 
make a comment and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. If I don't have an answer for you, I will try and ask one of my friends who happen to know much more about vintage coach bags and hopefully they will have an answer for you as well. So with that, I am going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful or entertaining at all, please do consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button. Um, I always love having new people here and chatting with other bag enthusiasts. So always feel free to reach out with questions or comments. I'm always happy to chat with people. Um, so with that, I will sign off and say thank you once again, and we will see you next time. Bye.